Hello guys, welcome back to Driving TV. In today's video, we will be showing how to change lanes safely and determining the gap. We will show you step by step everything you need to know to change lanes properly. This is one of the skills that you will have to have and demonstrate on your road test. So let's get started. How do we change lanes correctly? First of all, when we are driving and decide to change lanes, make sure you signal early enough to let other drivers know what you intend to do. You need a minimum of three flashes on the signal before you move over to the desired lane. Once you do this, it doesn't mean you have to switch lanes immediately. New drivers get anxious and they want to change lanes as soon as they turn the signal. And remember, take your time because you are new drivers. While doing this maneuver, you need to take your time. After your signal, it's out there. The next step is to check your mirror and look over your shoulder to check the blind spot to avoid any surprises which could be unseen vehicles near you. After you notice everything is clear, do one more check and start changing lanes. I want you guys to always remember that when turning or changing lanes, you have to make all these verifications and I can't stress how important this is. The last thing you want is having a car on your blind spot because you didn't look over your shoulder and trust in your mirrors. Also when checking your blind spot, this is something you need to do in a matter of seconds while safely driving. Another common mistake that new drivers do when changing lanes is to stop accelerating as soon as they put the turn signal. This will slow down your vehicle, making the lane change more difficult. And this is due to the fact that other vehicles are overtaking you and at a rapid speed, preventing you to find a decent gap. You have to maintain your speed unless you want to turn and have a car slightly in front of you. In this case, you probably want to slow down just a little bit and fit behind that vehicle. Now, let's go ahead and do a couple of left lane changes. First, make sure that you signal early enough to let other drivers know what you intend to do. In this case, you're going to go ahead and put the left turn signal. Once you do this, wait for at least three flashes and then go ahead, check your left mirror and make sure that there is no car. Another tip is to check your rear view mirror in case you have someone aggressively passing and changing lanes as they approach you from the rear. Then do a shoulder check to make sure that there are no cars on the blind spot. After you notice everything is clear, do one last shoulder check and start changing lanes slowly and carefully. Leave the signal on during the complete maneuver. Don't forget to turn the signal off once you're fully established on the lane. We can go ahead and do this a couple of times so you can have a better understanding. Now that you have a clear understanding of how to do change lanes to the left, let's go ahead and do a quick review of how to change lanes to the right. This could be a bit more difficult since the right mirror is far from the driving position. How to change lanes to the right. It's basically the same process, just on a different side. First, 
first, make sure you signal early enough to let other drivers know what you intend to do. In this case, we're going to put the right turn signal and leave it on until you're fully established on the desired lane. As soon as you put the signal, wait for at least three flashes and then go ahead and check your right mirror and make sure that it is clear. Another tip is to check your rear view mirror in case you have someone trying to pass you from the rear. Then do a shoulder check to make sure that there are no cars on your blind spot. After you notice everything is clear, do one last shoulder check and start changing lanes slowly and carefully. Once you successfully switch lanes, don't forget to turn the signal off. Let's go ahead and practice a few of these to make sure that you have a clear understanding. Now, we're going to review a few tips that will help you while changing lanes. Here's the thing. Sometimes we don't know when looking at the mirrors if the car is approaching too close or too far. So how do I know if another vehicle is close enough? Well, very important question. If you look at your lateral mirror and see the entire vehicle fully, as I'm showing you here, then this means the vehicle is far enough and you may change lanes safely. Now remember, maintain the same speed or accelerate just a little bit when you're going to change lanes. You must also do so diagonally and laterally. You don't want to make a sudden turn because you can easily lose control of your vehicle. This is very important, guys you got to move very slowly and cautiously. Obviously now, if the vehicle is too close, then you will see half the vehicle, just like I'm demonstrating on this video. This means that the vehicle is in the blind spot and wants to pass, and you shall not change lanes at the moment. But what happens if the other vehicle doesn't pass you and remains in that position? and the same speed, which does not allow you to change your lanes either. Well, it's actually quite simple. In this case, you're going to slow it down a bit so this vehicle can pass and you can change lane after or speed up a little bit, making sure you don't go over the speed limit. And once you have a safe gap, go ahead and change lanes. And well, guys, this video has come to an end. I highly recommend before heading out into the traffic to safely practice, confidently control your vehicle. This is very important. There are many beginner drivers that without practice go out into traffic and are very insecure when changing lanes, which can be very unsafe for you and other drivers. Keep practicing in less traffic areas in order to gain confidence and the necessary ability to drive safely overall. Once you feel comfortable and you can practice with more traffic to test your skills, then go ahead and do so. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel for more driving tutorials like these. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and comment below with any questions you may have. We truly appreciate your support. Thank you again and have a wonderful day.